Hey Bayport Blue Point, this is Brookhaven Town Councilman Neil Foley. What would you like the community to be aware of at this time? Uh, I would say definitely understand social distancing. Uh, it's very important at this time. This is the week of the 14th of April. Uh, I think it's a pivot week for us uh, in Suffolk County and to keep doing what we're doing. We're seeing results of our actions. Within quarantine guidelines, is there any way the community can help during this time? Yes, it's really important. I think we're all on social media. We all have different levels of expressing our feelings. Uh, I would please ask people to be patient. Be patient. I know it's a tough time. People have a lot of anxiety, but be patient. Uh, the other area I think people should do is reach out to friends and family, texting, uh, email, calling. Uh, it's really important that we stay connected and we motivate each other to just to feel better. So I would say reaching out to people that you know uh, and especially reaching out to the elderly population, especially if they're needing some food or some medicine. Uh, if anybody needs anything like that, please always reach out to my office and uh, we'll help them out. While social distancing, how are you passing your time and staying sane? Oh, wow. So it, it's been uh, it's it's been very busy, uh, and I've actually started reading a book at night. Uh, I, I've exhausted all my Netflix shows. I, I'm, I'm done with Netflix. Uh, there's no more new shows I can watch. But I've actually started reading a book, uh, a Nelson DeMille book. Silver lining of being quarantined in Bayport or Blue Point. Well, there's a lot of silver linings in Bayport Blue Point, and the biggest uh, part of Bayport Blue Point is the wonderful community that we live in. I've seen so many acts of kindness, so many beautiful parades of birthdays, uh, people reaching out, dropping food off, uh, painting rocks. Uh, I've seen such an overwhelming of support for people who are struggling. Uh, it is an amazing, amazing community. I say it over and over again, and there's just so many examples of why it is a great community. What are some of your favorite spots in Bayport and Blue Point? Well, I try to get to the Blue Point Preserve a couple times a week, walking around it. It's just very peaceful for me. Uh, it's quiet. Uh, I don't take out my phone and I get a little exercise. And uh, then sometimes I'll drive down to the water, have a cup of coffee. It's just, uh, it's good for my mind. And I think it's just different parts of our communities are just so beautiful. We live on a, uh, an ocean community and a bay community and it's just great to see the water. It's very soothing and uh, helps me get through my day. Which literary or cinematic character do you most identify with and why? <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess my favorite movie is Braveheart. It is. I love it. And it's about overcoming obstacles, about believing what you want to believe in. And uh, that's what we need to do today. It's just, listen, stay the course, Bayport Blue Point. We will get through this. Uh, we will be better and stronger uh, next year, and we will definitely learn from this.